I always dreamed of like coming to fucking LA and like going to Hollywood and making it big. As an Australian kid, like I didn't know how I was gonna do it or what was gonna happen. I was like fucking seven years old saying one day I'm gonna be in LA and one day I'm gonna be like a famous rapper and shit. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna make it happen somehow. I feel like I manifested this whole shit. I'm from Sydney, Australia. I kind of had like a crazy childhood. Okay, so I'm this is 2018. I'm on the blow up mattress. Little heater, you know what I mean? Holes in the walls. Me and my family didn't have a house and shit like that. But then it got to a point, you know, where we had nowhere to go. We were like staying on my mom's friend's couch and shit like that. And bro was like literally cooking meth, like right next to us. Shit was getting really hectic. I had to watch my mom do a lot of shit to survive and keep us like fed and shit. So music was definitely like a way of keeping my head clear. I used to type up like Eminem type beats or like Kendrick Lamar type beats and just rap to it. At first it was on some like therapy shit. But then after that, it was like a realization, like, damn, we need to get money. I needed to, to go out and do something about it. I heard like five seconds of this song called Blessings. And I was like, well, like what, what the, the fuck? fuck? How old is this kid now? Like, he's 14 and he's like, holy shit. This is the next thing, you know what I'm saying? And I was just telling Peter, my brother, like, man, I got to find this kid. <laughs> Juice had a tour in Australia, and when I got there, the first thing I did was link up with Leroy. I saw the potential. It wasn't just the music, it was the hustle, because he just wasn't a regular, oh, what can you do for me, kid? Like, he acted like he ran Australia at the age of 13. Pete told me to come to his hotel room, and I, like, opened the door, and it was Juice. Holy shit. Me and my friends are just, like, looking at each other in the room, like, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. I just realized, like, fuck, I'm ready to do this shit. Let's go. I used to pray for some better days. Ten years later, I'm in LA. LA, 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 LA. LA is crazy. One stick, one soft stick. When I came out here, I ended up staying with Juice and Pete. He just used to watch Juice work all the time. Like Juice in the studio every day, like making songs every day, all day. Roy picked that up. He gave me a lot of advice about just this whole industry shit and just how to make it easier for myself in the future. I like got mom and my little brother out to LA and we got a little house and shit. I love having my family here because this place is fucking insane. It's like the devil. My younger brother's three years younger than me. He's the goat. He's a little legend. I remember back home in Australia, you'd be like rapping and shit. So now mom. I'm like doing like the real shit. Kinda, yeah. I believe I'm one of the hottest workers out there. Now look, I know that reference I told you to keep. Try to put that down. I don't know, see how it flows. My whole life is is work. Some people call me kind of crazy because they're like, dude, you're 17. Like, just fucking have fun and just like go and be a fucking teenager. And I'm just like, no. I want to be the biggest artist in the world. And I think being the biggest artist in the world comes with a lot of sacrifices, like taking care of your body. You know, I'm just trying to do this shit as best as I can while I'm young. I feel like if I get through this little bit of pain now, it's gonna be easier for me in the future. Yeah, and, 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 and cut the beat when I say that. Yeah, let me hear that. I was in the studio with him probably three weeks ago. He spent probably 40 minutes for just going over the same line as music. For life, I go get, for life, for life, go get, for life, go get, for life, ah, fuck, go get. That's, that's a person that wants to be the greatest. Pull up. In a yellow Lambo like Pikachu My teacher said I wouldn't be shit, now look at you I know you somewhere down bad Cause I just spent your old check on a pair of some Jimmy Choo Yeah, I'm pretty proud of you, hey, man Yeah, in LA, like you said, you said you're proud of me? Yeah Thanks Proud of you Success uh, Shit As long as my family's good As long as my money's right As long as I'm happy That's success to me As long as the circle's tight, then I'm good on God